All right, printmaking, yay. This process is known as a relief process that we're going to be doing. The first step is to go into your visual journal and create some sketches of what you want to do. I did a few and this is the one that I ended up with. There is a leading line from the river and there's gonna be some positive and negative shapes. Um, something to remember is to draw it backwards so that it prints forward. Everything is in reverse when you do these prints and I'll show you why here in a minute. So you, you have to decide um, what's going to be black or whatever color ink you're using and what's going to be white in your image. Something to note about your tool, I'm going to show you here. You can unscrew the end and um, store your extra blades there. And to put a new blade in, you just need to unscrew a little bit, loosen it up, and your blade goes in. It's kind of like a half moon shape in there. Here I'm just showing you what the inside looks like, but you're not taking it all the way apart to put your blade in. You're just unscrewing it so it's a little bit loose. You're gonna pop that in there all the way down and tighten it up so that it's secure. If they get stuck, you might have to take the whole head off and kind of tap it on a table. So when you're carving, you need to make sure you're carving away from you. Here I just drew with pen, I drew my design. Tracing onto these blocks doesn't work all that well, so you might have to freehand um, your design. You might start with pencil and then go back in with pen, but it doesn't really erase very well, so you're gonna have to rely on some freehand skill here. Again, when carving, carve away from your other hand. These are sharp blades they will get you because you do slip sometimes when you're carving. So everything I'm carving away is going to be white because now it's a recessed area, so ink will not be deposited on those areas. You have to do a little bit of pre-planning with your design and figure out what's going to be white and what's going to be the color of your ink when you print. I do not want you guys to just um, carve away a bunch of white outlines and call it a day. That's pretty boring. I want you to have some nice negative and positive shapes. So here you can see I'm carving a bigger area out. That's gonna all be white. That's the snow on the mountain range. So things like that. You wanna have a good balance between line and also shapes, black and white shapes, um, where you've carved away during the process. If you want black outlines, then that means you have to carve everything out around that line and just leave the line. There are different sizes of blades that come in your kit. So some of them will carve away fatter, wider areas and some will, um, the smaller blade is good for small detail work. If you get in, in, lost in the process and you're wondering how this is gonna turn out, you can do a test print. So here I've put ink on a paper plate. It's not watery, it's just a good um, kind of glob of ink. And I'm gonna do a test print just to see where I'm at in my carving process. I just use a piece of scrap paper and now I can see what needs to be carved away more. And you just rinse your block off and dry it and start with more. Here I'm doing another test print and it's really watery if you guys can see that. Watch this, it's gonna sink into parts of the carved away area, so this is not gonna work, it's too watery. See that area? So I started over again with a new paper plate after kneading my tube of ink a little bit, shaking it up, and that's much more firm, that ink, so that looks about right. I'm gonna ink my block really well, get all the edges, move that brayer vertically and horizontally to get my ink on, and then I'm gonna take a piece of paper. It could be computer paper or a lightweight sketchbook paper and I'm going to just um, apply pressure all over the block. Notice that I'm holding it down as I'm using my other hand to apply pressure. You don't want it to slide around. And then you just lift it off and there it is. Cut it down, trim it, and put it into your sketchbook. Easy peasy. Um, you don't have to carve too deep when you're doing these. You just need to carve away enough to get um, the area recessed. If you mess up, you can flip your block over and use it, um, use the other side. 
but again, careful, careful planning because once you cut, it's gone. There's no coming back. So you need to really think about what's going to be cut away and what's going to be inked, where those lines are gonna be. There should be some nice texture. You guys can see texture of grass in my print and some texture in the mountain range in the back. So make sure you have some interesting details, some good positive and negative shapes in there, and a leading line. Have fun.